What's up, Vikes? I'm Quinn, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Today at 12.55 p.m., we will be voting for Homecoming Queen and King right after SVTV airs the assembly, and then the student body will vote. Tomorrow at 6.30, the homecoming ceremony begins. Every time you buy a 20-ounce drink from the Viking Brew, you can enter your name and guess for the bucket of candy. The winner will be announced on Halloween. The speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Please obey the speed limit. Congratulations to Renee Sturgeon for her fifth place finish in Topeka High Golf Invitational yesterday. Students that have qualified for the free and reduced meal program can stop by athletics and pick up a pass. Tomorrow's Spirit Week theme is America. Make sure to dress up. We collected some thoughts about hybrid learning. SHS has been in motion with the hybrid learning technique. We interviewed some students and teachers to view different perspectives. I like it a lot better than being fully online and being able to see my teachers. Students believe that hybrid learning has taken a great turn to benefit remote and in-person classes. I think hybrid learning is a good way for students to still get the learning experience in, but from being at home, um, it's good for the teachers and faculty to maintain social distancing, um, but I think it's a good idea. I think the teachers feel overwhelmed um, about having to maintain their students in class learning and still getting the work to the kids that are at home um, and not getting that hands-on experience. I do like the Google Meetings because it allows you to go to different websites and work on your schoolwork as your teacher's talking to you. Teachers have a whole different perspective of teaching in-person and remote classes. Hybrid learning hasn't been a perfect situation. I don't think anybody really thought it was going to be perfect. They don't, nobody really thought this was going to be the perfect situation. I think it was maybe the best compromise for people who wanted to be fully in-person and people who wanted to be fully remote. It is incredibly difficult to keep track of both groups, uh, especially in a language class. We do a lot of speaking, we do a lot of listening, responding, um, active questioning, and that sort of thing, and it's really difficult to manage the two groups. Um, I've kind of changed my lesson plan so that when I'm doing stories, we do them just with the students in class instead of trying to incorporate online students into it. <laughs> That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day.